It's a magnificent book, quite a thick one too. And it's called People's Magazine 1867. Oh, but look what's on the front. Isn't that magnificent? This is astonishing, isn't it? It's not my book, sadly, but it belongs to a good friend of mine, Gerald Darby, who's brought along other books like these, which are altered books, books that started as a book and were altered in magnificent ways to create a new art form. Gerald, this is a marvellous book to look at, absolutely astonishing. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, it's, um, these are a collection of uh, altered books by different artists and artisans. Yeah. Um, this is one of them, and what the artist has done here is taken away all the printed words yeah. and left behind, and, and with a bit of, uh, uh, of moving things around, created this effect of all the illustrations, so that the illustrations have been brought, left behind, brought together, yeah. and you can see a sort of bit of a story there as you let your mind um, uh, flow uh, uh, over the images, yeah. and you can yeah. start to think, why are these two people fighting? What's this person angry about? What What's going here? on there? Yeah. and so on and it's a great way of actually unleashing your imagination and allowing you to, you to create your own oh, story sorry. from from Goodness the pages me. and the illustrations of the book and it's just one of uh, a number of altered books that i've brought so along to show a, you it's a fixed box it's been glued in it's and all glued can't together opened, can't be opened it's a box but, but, but it was originally uh, it was a page originally, turnable book all of these are yeah. are, are yeah. primarily older books so they 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 most of them have come to the end of their life or yeah. getting close to the end of their life and this is a way of actually recreating like and creating a new too, life. A picture <laughs> <laughs> and it is a picture I like really that. it is really so, absolutely brilliant um, this is another one i've brought to show you um, it's uh, Familiar Wild Birds. Ooh, okay. uh, that's the title of the book. Yep. And um, if I open it up, let's see what's so inside. Lovely. And there we've oh, got some feathers created from the pages of the book oh, of um, some familiar wild birds. Um, and there are the actual uh, kinds of feathers so that this, you get. So this page is entirely unaltered, but it's exactly as it was that's this an example. Been completely changed and turned into something magnificent. Yeah, just some it's examples of, of oh, they feathers. Actually, they actually give the name of the bird that these feathers have been taken from. Yeah, goldfinch is my favourite, actually. They're That's a beautiful feather. Probably not painted. They're probably actually the original colouration of those, some of the birds. They're very, yeah. very spectacularly um, colourful, aren't they? They're very birds. much so, yeah. I oh, think marvellous. It gets you to actually look at the feathers, doesn't it, and think about them, and yeah, think about the colours yeah, yeah. That, that's involved in them. Again, it's a sealed box now. Uh, sealed sealed box, so, yeah, you can't actually it clearly explore was a, it. But at one stage was, uh, uh, book or was, yeah. a, was a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's another cool. one. Um, marvellous. Let's stuff. have a look at this one next. Um, this is The Art of Angling. The art uh, yes, of fishing angling. in my fishing, land. Fishing, yep. And Popping. so, again, the artisans used that to inspire her for uh, the alteration that she's made to this book. Mm. And if we open it up, there we've got a Good scene grief. of, uh, I suppose, a reservoir or, or, or something so like all that. All the levels. All the, the levels within, within the book. Down, yes. And if you look there, you can just see somebody uh, sitting uh, there. Yes, yes, yes. Just doing here. a bit of contemplation contemplating oh angling oh uh, for uh, his next his next catch his next catch <laughs> yes <laughs> but a beautiful yeah. effect actually from from cutting th cutting through the the pages Making of the book the to, side pools as well yeah to, 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 to create that and yet all these pages are all loose yep. yes that's extraordinary it's very beautiful magnificent so that's that one um, let's have a look at this next it's this awesome. is by an uh, artisan called Isabel Usman, mm -hmm. um, and she's Slovenian, and so uh, this is a Slovene old book, um, yeah. almost on its last last legs, I would say. It's very, very <laughs> old, and it's a bit battered and so on. But let's see what the artisan has done With here. Yeah. And if we open that up, and there we've Good got a, a, a wonderful incredible. scene. And what we have actually is the artisan has had to cut very, very delicately to create all of these different. Um, going down into a depth too, the different pages. Yeah, yep. in yep. there uh, to create the to create the scenes, and also illustrated it by actual pen. So she's actually filled in um, by yeah, pen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it must have been hours and hours of work. And I don't and know if you two scenes as well. Two scenes, and I don't know if you can see, but just inside there, you've got a sort of 
little red riding, riding hood, hood character. Yes. You expect um, to find it in the dark one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I love this deal with the full moon above it yeah, and all in the background too. Yeah. It's magnificent. It's, it's a nice bit of depth there to it as well. So it's Superb. Another one. Yep. It looks completely innocuous as a book when you look at that, you know, it's just an old book. And Somebody suddenly, finds it and might throw it away and <laughs> not realise. You're finding something amazing inside it. Yeah. Um, I am a great fan of wolves. I think there's such a, yeah. such a, such a, a character with wolves and, and <laughs> such yeah. um, beautiful beasts. And um, I gave this to uh, uh, an artisan to think about in terms of um, what she could create from this. Yes. And... Uh, well, this is what she's put inside. So let me just open it. You commissioned it this book. Then. I commissioned this. Really? Yeah, she bought the book an and then idea. found. And then I just thought we've got to have something. Asking artists to do something with it. And there we go. If oh, I that's take magnificent. that out and, and if you hold it up that, to the and it's very camera. delicately and cut out of paper. Incredible, quite thin in, paper actually, but incredibly finely cut. And like all of these, incredible oh, amount nice. of detail, incredible yeah. amount of time to create the, the, those. And look how thin it is. Extraordinary. Those, Absolutely Perfect. amazing. From one sheet of paper, isn't yeah. that amazing? So there's. So you the leave one. it as insert inside. I leave it as insert inside, and it gives people a little bit of a surprise. And um, uh, there's there's oh, another yeah. one actually. There we go. Oh, and yes. Want to hold, Can you hold it up? up to the camera. There we go. Oh yes, that's magnificent. That's yeah, a real wolf, isn't it? That's isn't it? <laughs> the gaping jaw and he's slobbering. Howling, howling. He looks as though he's about to eat some food as well. That's marvellous. There we go. So that's uh, a book on wolves. Wonderful. Um, Wonderful. Yep. Next up, I'm a great fan of this. Oh, yes. The Lord, Lord of the, of the Rings. Rings. Yes, the Lord I read of The Hobbit the and the whole trilogy. Did you? Um, I've read The Hobbit. I haven't read that. <laughs> You've I done very them. well. You've done very I've well. seen films and everything else. Yeah. Okay. And this book has been altered by uh, an artist who creates jewellery from mm. books. Can you believe it or not? Creates jewellery. Mm. Um, seems like a, 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 an ordinary book. Uh, lots, ordinary, lots of pages. All yeah. the pages there and so on. But if we go to the front of the book. Oh, yes. There we go. What's in there? If we can take oh, that out. Oh, look at that. It's uh, a ring. Oh, And you won't goodness. be able to see it, but it's got Hobbit writing inside. Incredible. Oh, yes, 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 yes. One ring to rule them all, etc. I've been tried on, haven't I? Oh, go on. on. Let's have a go. Go on. <sighs> I've got to vanish. Yeah. Have I gone? I better come back again. Uh. <laughs> I've returned. Isn't that magnificent, though? And it works. So, yes. It works. Um, too. <laughs> uh, a piece of an actual ring for. The Lord of the Rings. Did they cut every single and page? Cut there, every it? single page in order to kind of uh, oh, find that home to, to nest the to nest the ring in and it's keep the ring inside. It's amazing, isn't it? So yeah. That's Jeremy May, the the artist there. Jeremy Wonderful. May. Wonderful. So that's another one. Um, this, this next one, I I, I came across uh, an artist, and he works with. Um, maps and he does uh, illustrations on maps and I thought oh no I, I really want him to do something with a book and then I came across obviously an atlas and I thought this would be great for Ed Fairburn who does these illustrations on maps yeah, to work with yeah, yeah, yeah. and this so the old AA guide which I have in my collection for London but uh, this is the whole country in fact isn't it yeah it includes London as well of course and um, so I got him uh, this book to this atlas rather to uh, work with yeah and um we were thumbing through it and uh, looking at the pages of London and uh, thinking, you know, what, what, what would be appropriate to put It's quite an old the version book. of the book, isn't it's it? A very, it is an old, again, like, like yeah, all about these 50 books. Years it's, old, probably. it's an old, old version. And so um, about central London then? Yeah, and we were thinking, you know, what, who would be somebody to illustrate within um, the pages of oh, to associate uh, with, with London, with London. London. And, yeah, I think um, in Victorian England and uh, I suppose what I'd really think about is the world of Dickens, Charles Dickens in those days. Absolutely, and that's who we chose and oh, he has well taken, there we got Charles Dickens in London. Oh, it's and magnificent. That's it's magnificent. created, and he's created the illustration by, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, by very, very thin lines 
Uh, black, 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 all black, black thin ink, lines yes. put in by black ink. Two eyes here in the mouth, occupying the whole of the middle of central London. Creates Charles Dickens, their illustrated... And his forehead and the uh, top line of his hair, that's very... That's very in London, where he belongs. Yeah, 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 I can see it exactly. Goodness me, for a distance he's even better. <laughs> Extraordinary, that's wonderful. Gosh, another one, and... Uh, so that was that was commissioned as well. If you asked him to do something alteration, I think he really enjoyed doing it. He really enjoyed doing it. It made him think about Brilliant. the possibilities. Yeah. A lot of his work you'll see on, in maps, but okay. uh, the first time he's done something in a book. Um, next book. This is Tales of the Mysterious and Macabre by Aldrin Blackwood. Mm. So I've got something. So. Uh, book mysterious and macabre so we're perhaps expecting something like a little oh, bit of a haunted God, house in there that. and this has been cut again you're right all the pages stuck together yeah, and then um carved the it. down to, to create that that, that, that goes depth. a long way deep isn't it right down that's, to the back of the book the last page almost that's it and we've got a bit of a haunted house uh uh, yeah, sitting there in the, in the yeah, middle. I wouldn't yeah, like to be yeah. there myself. I wouldn't like to, yeah, to wonder, live there. I wonder what's going lurking around inside it. Yeah, and I've got as well a little bit of a, a, a surprise and little addition okay, to this yep. book. So okay. if we close it up and perhaps if we put the lights down yep. and I'm just going to just do this Ooh, here. Do a bit of a little bit of fancy finger work there. And then <laughs> if I open the book up. Something else has happened then, is it? Again. And oh, that's marvellous. There we are. Oh, that's marvellous. Tiny little light. Someone's, so someone's in there now. Someone's, someone's in, alive in and well, they're waking house. up. <laughs> you might come out and, and catch you if you don't care. Well, that's like, magnificent. There yes. we are. Don't go down to the woods today, etc. <laughs> Better go in disguise. There we are. That's magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. So leaving a tiny little battery inside that one. Goodness. And that's by Marie Klimis. Marie Klimis okay. is the artist there. Um, penultimate book is, yep. um, it's actually where it all started. Oh. Um, this book is The Arabian Every Nights. Night. The yes, Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. It's, it's again, a very old it's, version of it. It's yes. an old, it's an old book. Yeah, I mean, it's kept well, actually. It has yep. kept well. This is altered in a different way. And uh, this was the first altered book um, mm. uh, that I came across. And I, I read about these books on a website called Grand Illusions. Have, oh. have you heard of this? <laughs> <laughs> Grand oh, Illusions. Marvelous. And these are called... What a nice connection. Double connection. Though, yeah. It? These are called Four Edge Paintings. Nice. And it's a um, painting that's done, can you believe it, on uh, this part of the book. Uh, it's a very top edge, isn't it? The last here. tiny little fraction of a millimetre. And I'll show you how it comes through. If I fan these pages, We've got to there like we that. are. That's right. Can you see the painting? Beautiful. That's come yes, that's come alive. up very nicely, actually. And it's hidden by some gilding, but there it's hidden. But if yep. I fan it out, you can see yes, the painting painted. is revealed yeah. and there's a painting there and actually there's also it's a painting on the other side so again oh, yes. I'll fan it out and you can see the hidden painting comes alive uh, yeah that's very nice to and done, actually. that's called very, a four nice edge painting and I read about these on Grand Illusions website yeah. Yeah. Um, ages and ages ago and thought I've got to, I've got to get one of these books and uh, that's how all, that these, altered, all these all these altered books started but uh, um, I absolutely love those and it's great so great that's concept. second to last my goodness that's magnificent final that book there. final book then yeah. is can you read that uh, phoenix rising okay. phoenix, phoenix rising oh yes yes and here it's is old tale, isn't it? the phoenix. phoenix rising from the pages oh, of the book Yep, the page is cindered by the flames oh, from the, the phoenix yes, yes, yes. From its fire, coming out from, out from the mouth. pages. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is by right. Emma Taylor, who's an artist who does altered books. And so with uh, all the words left on the pages. Extraordinary. Just, Look at the detail uh, you might be able to see on the feathers, which are just incredible. Um, and, uh, so this book alone is not one that can be that can be folded, that can be closed. Either. Please don't try and fold it, <laughs> otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> you will reduce the amount of tears, but yeah, yeah absolutely beautiful yeah. book. So out of the author books you've had, do you reckon that's probably the most outstanding? And I, uh, I think have to it, agree. Yeah, so I think it's, it's a quite fantastic work of art. Well, thank you very much indeed for bringing these magnificent books along. I'm so glad we we we, we put up the um, the four edge painting one to get to, to to probe you into action. And my goodness, you've discovered a whole range of absolutely magnificent ones. Great to see them. Thank you very thank much you. indeed for bringing them along.